Hello and welcome to my channel, where I share with you the best tips and tricks on how to invest in the crypto market and make money from the latest trends and technologies. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you the 5 main types of stablecoins, and how they work. Now, let's talk about stablecoins. You may have heard of them, but do you really know what they are and how they work? If not, don't worry because I'm going to explain everything you need to know in this video. Stablecoins are a type of cryptocurrency that aim to maintain a stable value relative to another asset, such as a fiat currency, a commodity, or another cryptocurrency. Stablecoins are designed to overcome the high volatility and unpredictability of the crypto market and to provide a reliable and convenient medium of exchange, store of value, and unit of account. But not all stablecoins are created equal. There are different types of stablecoins, each with its own advantages and disadvantages, depending on the mechanism and collateral used to stabilize their value. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the five main types of stablecoins and how they work. These are Fiat Collateralized Stablecoins Crypto Collateralized Stablecoins Commodity Collateralized Stablecoins Algorithmic Stablecoins Hybrid Stablecoins By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of the different types of stablecoins and how they can benefit you as a crypto investor, trader, or user. Whether you want to hedge your funds against market fluctuations, diversify your portfolio, or access new opportunities and innovations, stablecoins can offer you a solution. So, if you're ready to learn more about stablecoins, then keep watching, because this video is for you. Let's start with the first type of stablecoins, fiat collateralized stablecoins. Fiat collateralized stablecoins are the most common and simple type of stablecoins. They are backed by a reserve of a fiat currency, such as the US dollar the euro, or the yen at a one-to-one -one ratio. This means that for every stablecoin issued, there is an equivalent amount of fiat currency held in a bank account or a trust. The fiat currency acts as the collateral that guarantees the value of the stablecoin. The main advantage of fiat collateralized stablecoins is that they are easy to understand and trust. They are transparent and auditable, and they have a clear and stable peg to a fiat currency. They are also widely accepted and supported by many exchanges, wallets, and platforms. They are ideal for users who want to use stablecoins as a bridge between the crypto and the fiat world, or as a safe haven in times of market volatility. The main disadvantage of fiat collateralized stablecoins is that they are centralized and dependent on third parties. They rely on the issuer, the custodian, and the auditor to maintain the reserve, the peg, and the security of the stablecoins. They are also subject to the risks and regulations of the fiat system, such as inflation, devaluation, seizure, or censorship. They are also costly and inefficient to operate, as they require regular audits, fees, and intermediaries. Some examples of fiat collateralized stablecoins are Tether, USDT, USD Coin, USDC, Binance USD, BUSD, TrueUSD, TUSD, and Paxos Standard, PayX. These are some of the most popular and liquid stablecoins in the market, and they are all pegged to the US dollar. You can find more information about these stablecoins in the first result one. The second type of stablecoins are crypto collateralized stablecoins. Crypto collateralized stablecoins are backed by a reserve of another cryptocurrency, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, or DAI, at a variable ratio. This means that for every stablecoin issued, there is a certain amount of cryptocurrency held in a smart contract. The cryptocurrency acts as the collateral that guarantees the value of the stablecoin. The main advantage of crypto collateralized stablecoins is that they are decentralized and independent of third parties. They rely on the blockchain and the smart contract to maintain the reserve, the peg, and the security of the stablecoins. 
They are also immune to the risks and regulations of the fiat system, such as inflation, devaluation, seizure, or censorship. They are also more efficient and scalable to operate, as they do not require audits, fees, or intermediaries. The main disadvantage of crypto collateralized stablecoins is that they are complex and risky. They are not transparent and auditable, and they have a volatile and uncertain peg to a fiat currency. They are also subject to the risks and challenges of the crypto system, such as hacking, bugs, or black swan events. They also require over collateralization and liquidation mechanisms to maintain the stability of the stablecoins which can result in losses or dilution for the users. Some examples of crypto-collateralized stablecoins are MakerDAO, DAI, Synthetix, XUSD, BitShares, BitUSD, and Reserve, RSV. These are some of the most innovative and experimental stablecoins in the market, and they are all pegged to the US dollar. You can find more information about these stablecoins in the second result. The third type of stablecoins are commodity collateralized stablecoins. Commodity collateralized stablecoins are backed by a reserve of a commodity, such as gold, silver, or oil, at a fixed or variable ratio. This means that for every stablecoin issued, there is a certain amount of commodity held in a vault or a trust. The commodity acts as the collateral that guarantees the value of the stablecoin. The main advantage of commodity collateralized stablecoins is that they are backed by real and tangible assets that have intrinsic value and global demand. They are also resistant to inflation and devaluation, as they are not affected by the monetary policies or the economic conditions of any country. They are also appealing to users who want to use stablecoins as a store of value, or as a way to diversify their portfolio. The main disadvantage of commodity collateralized stablecoins is that they are centralized and dependent on third parties. They rely on the issuer, the custodian, and the auditor to maintain the reserve, the peg, and the security of the stablecoins. They are also subject to the risks and regulations of the commodity system, such as theft, fraud, or manipulation. They are also costly and inefficient to operate as they require regular audits, fees, and intermediaries. Some examples of commodity collateralized stablecoins are Tether Gold, XAUT, Paxos Gold, PXG, Digix Gold, DGX, and Petro, PTR. These are some of the most unique and niche stablecoins in the market, and they are all pegged to different commodities. You can find more information about these stablecoins in the third result. The fourth type of stablecoins are algorithmic stablecoins. Algorithmic stablecoins are not backed by any reserve or collateral, but by an algorithm that adjusts the supply and demand of the stablecoins. This means that the algorithm increases or decreases the number of stablecoins in circulation, depending on the market price and the target price of the stablecoins. The algorithm acts as the mechanism that maintains the stability of the stablecoins. The main advantage of algorithmic stablecoins is that they are fully decentralized and independent of any asset or entity. They rely on the blockchain and the algorithm to maintain the stability, the security, and the governance of the stablecoins. They are also immune to the risks and regulations of any system such as inflation, devaluation, seizure, or censorship. They are also the most efficient and scalable to operate, as they do not require any reserve, collateral, or intermediary. The main disadvantage of algorithmic stablecoins is that they are highly experimental and unproven. They are not transparent and auditable, and they have a fragile and unstable peg to a fiat currency. They are also subject to the risks and challenges of the crypto system, such as hacking, bugs, or black swan events. They also require complex and controversial mechanisms to adjust the supply and demand of the stablecoins, such as seigniorage, bonds, or coupons, which can result in losses or dilution for the users. Some examples of algorithmic stablecoins are Basis Cash, 
BAC, Empty Set Dollar, ESD, Dynamic Set Dollar, DSD, and Terra, UST. These are some of the most ambitious and radical stable coins in the market, and they are all pegged to the US dollar. You can find more information about these stable coins in the fourth result. The fifth and final type of stable coins are hybrid stable coins. Hybrid stable coins are a combination of two or more types of stable coins, such as fiat collateralized, crypto collateralized, commodity collateralized, or algorithmic. This means that they use a mix of different mechanisms and collaterals to stabilize their value. The hybrid stablecoins aim to achieve the best of both worlds, by combining the advantages and minimizing the disadvantages of the different types of stablecoins. They are designed to be more stable, secure, and scalable than the other types of stablecoins. The main advantage of hybrid stablecoins is that they are more balanced and resilient than the other types of stablecoins. They use a mix of different mechanisms and collaterals to stabilize their value, which reduces the reliance and exposure to any single factor or risk. They are also more adaptable and flexible than the other types of stablecoins, as they can adjust and optimize their parameters and components according to the market conditions and user preferences. The main disadvantage of hybrid stablecoins is that they are more complex and opaque than the other types of stablecoins. They require a deeper understanding and analysis of the different mechanisms and collaterals involved, and how they interact and affect each other. They are also more difficult and costly to operate and maintain than the other types of stablecoins, as they involve more layers, processes, and parties. Some examples of hybrid stablecoins are Libra, LBR, Saga, SGA, Reserve, RSV, and Carbon, CUSD. These are some of the most promising and ambitious stablecoins in the market, and they are all pegged to a basket of assets, such as fiat currencies, commodities, or cryptocurrencies. You can find more information about these stablecoins in the fifth result. So, these are the five main types of stablecoins, and how they work, fiat collateralized, crypto collateralized, commodity collateralized, algorithmic, and hybrid. I hope you now have a better understanding of the different types of stablecoins, and how they can benefit you as a crypto investor, trader, or user. But how do you choose the right type of stablecoin for you? Well, that depends on your goals, preferences, and risk tolerance. Here are some factors that you may want to consider when choosing a stablecoin. Stability, how stable is the value of the stablecoin relative to the asset that it is pegged to? How often and how much does the stablecoin deviate from its target price? How reliable and effective are the mechanisms and collaterals that stabilize the value of the stablecoin? Security, how secure is the stablecoin from hacking, theft, fraud, or manipulation? How trustworthy and transparent are the parties and processes that issue, store, and audit the stablecoin? How robust and resilient are the systems and protocols that protect and govern the stablecoin? Scalability, how scalable is the stablecoin to meet the growing demand and usage of the stablecoin? How fast and cheap are the transactions and operations of the stablecoin? How compatible and interoperable is the stablecoin with other platforms and networks? Accessibility, how accessible is the stablecoin to the users and the markets? How easy and convenient is it to acquire, use, and exchange the stablecoin? How widely accepted and supported is the stablecoin by the exchanges, wallets, and platforms? Innovation, how innovative is the stablecoin in terms of its technology, features, and services? How much value and utility does the stablecoin offer to the users and the markets? How much potential and opportunity does the stablecoin have for future growth and development? Based on these factors, you can compare and contrast the different types of stablecoins and find the one that suits your needs and preferences. You can also use more than one type of stablecoin, depending on the situation and the purpose. For example, 
you can use a fiat collateralized stablecoin for quick and easy transactions, a crypto collateralized stablecoin for decentralized and secure transactions, a commodity collateralized stablecoin for long-term and inflation-proof transactions, an algorithmic stablecoin for innovative and experimental transactions, or a hybrid stablecoin for balanced and resilient transactions. In conclusion, we have explored the fascinating world of stablecoins and discussed the five main types that you need to know. From fiat collateralized stablecoins to algorithmic stablecoins, each type offers unique features and benefits. Stablecoins have quickly gained popularity due to their ability to provide stability and convenience in the volatile cryptocurrency market. Whether you're a trader, investor, or someone who wants to use digital currencies for everyday transactions, stablecoins can be a reliable tool in your crypto toolkit. By understanding the different types of stablecoins and their underlying mechanisms, you can make informed decisions about which ones align with your goals and risk appetite. Remember, always conduct thorough research and consider consulting with professionals before diving into any investment or financial decision. We hope that this video has provided you with a solid foundation and a clearer understanding of stablecoins. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future videos that delve deeper into the exciting world of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Thank you for joining us on this informative journey, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.